natural beauties in the city. I'm Tisha. I'm Markeisha. And I'm Shari J. And here's today's spot. Today we're filming in the heart of Detroit, which is Campus Marshes. Campus Marshes mean military ground. In 1788, Campus Marshes served as a drill ground for militia training. Now Campus Marshes is known as Detroit's gathering place all year long, hosting ice skating in the winter, concert venues in the spring, and movie nights in the summer. If you need a bite to eat, you can go to the Fountain Bistro inside of Campus Marshes, or go right across the street and eat at the Hard Rock Cafe, which is located in the CompuWare Center. And now it's time for Hair It Is. During these cold and dry months, we all try to protect our hair by wearing protective styles. Do you consider any protective style that includes weave a good protective style? Here's our thoughts. As far as protective styles go, y'all know I love protective styles. Mm -hmm. Twist up dudes, just uh, flat twist, the whole nine. But I don't use weave in my hair. It's always kind of been that way for me. I just never really liked to weave. I've had zillions before. I've had back sprays with additional hair, but I, it's just never really been my thing. Now, when I had zillions, it took my, they, you know, the Africans got a little too close to the edges and did take it out. I didn't really think anything of it. I thought that just kind of came with the territory. If you got zillions, your hair is gonna come out, especially your edges. Um, so I just stayed away from it after that. Uh, the last time I had it was last year, and that was only the second time I had it. The other time was when I was in middle school. So for me personally, I just don't choose to wear weave. Nothing against those who wear weave. It's just not my thing. So I think if you can wear a protective style, look cute, look sexy, look fine and dapper without wearing weave, then it's fine. If you want to wear weave and you don't feel comfortable rocking your natural hair in a protective style, that's fine too. It's totally up to you. Um, my thing is, I, I'm just like you. I don't, I don't do the weave. So, um, I've had braids one time. If you remember the Dookie braids back in the oh, day, yeah, yeah, I had it lasted a whole three days, and I was like, mm -mm. three days. I, right. I, I don't like my hair contained. Oh. I, I like it to be like free flowing and um, not that. That's not a good word for it. Not your hair. <laughs> I, we know what you're saying, right? But yeah, I like it to be just out or you know, two strand twist. I, I could do that. But far as weave, no, I can't. I can't do it. Um, wigs, I have wore a couple of wigs, but since I went natural, I'm just very confident wearing my hair like this that I don't really need the weave, the wigs anymore. I don't do protective styling, and I probably won't do protective styling. I'm gonna see how my hair grows just wearing it like this. I, I do two strand twists. I don't wear it twisted. I take my twist out, so. Um, Even when your hair grows longer, you? I don't think I'm gonna do mm -hmm. protective styling. I think maybe I might, but right now I just, I think it looks better how I wear it now. Um, but if it doesn't, if I do see it not growing or my ends getting kind of crispy, then I'm gonna start braiding it up, but not with weave, just with my own hair. All right, well, bunk both for y'all, okay? Because your girl is down for some weave with a protective style. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. The only style I would have to say I would not do with weave would be zillions, or some people call it micros. Um, just like you said, Shari, the African sisters here, they can braid their butt off, but they will braid your eyelashes if you let them, okay? And your eyebrows, too. Um, I suffer from traction alopecia from getting um, the zillions of micro braids, and it's almost like like putting a 10 pound weight on a one pound piece of hair right. and it pulls your hair it's just it's just not for me it's too tight so I would not do um, zillions so far as adding weave to hair now ponytails yes I've worn recently a drawstring ponytail and I don't know if you all know what that is but it's like the ponytail that comes with two cones and you just attach it to the back of your hair and you pull the drawstring and just wrap it around and secure it um, didn't suffer any damage you can control how tight the ponytail is and I love it I love it uh, my hair was in a bun up under the ponytail it was just neatly pulled back I wrapped it, took the wrap off, and slapped that bad boy on, and I was good to go. Um, so far as wigs, 
I'm not down with the wigs, especially lace fronts. I think those are so damaging. Um, never had yeah. one, but from what I see, mm. Naomi Campbell, mm. girl, bad. Mm. Okay, you can keep it. Right. But everything else, I think weave makes great protective styles. I think they uh, enhance your look. Um, I think if you're trying to achieve something a little longer, it helps with that. I'm down. I'm down with it. I'm down with the weave. I, yes, I think it's all about personal preference. It's right. personal preference. Right. And now it's time to feature the naturalista of the day, which is Stacey Gilbert, also known as Rubella Coils on YouTube. This native Detroiter is the author of Black is Beautiful, A Guide to Loving Your God-Given Hair, which is an inspirational book that was written for African American women. However, the message of the book is universal. The core message is saying, be yourself. Stacey hopes that after reading this book, women will believe God's standard and not man's. I started on YouTube first just watching videos and I wasn't watching um, natural YouTube videos. Um, I was watching a lot of makeup tutorials. I kind of stumbled upon the natural YouTube community in February. I started my series, um, Black is Beautiful, and so I basically broke down my book. First video talked about the spiritual transformation. Um, the second video was about um, the mental transformation, then the physical transformation, and um, the emotional transformation. So that's how I started on YouTube. I don't think you're going to see too many tutorials from me even though I am a licensed cosmetologist, but I don't really have a passion like to do all of the hair tutorials, and there are plenty of hair tutorials out there, you know, but I have always been passionate about just black women accepting their, their beauty, realizing that we are beautiful. You know, we don't have to um, alter ourselves you know, to be beautiful. We, we are beautiful just the way God made us. So I plan on doing more videos with music and, um, you know, just talking about deeper issues because you can, you can do the big chop, you know, get rid of your relaxer, but, you know, if you still feel like you're really not beautiful, then people are going to see that. So I guess I, I deal more with the, um, the internal issues. Okay, so um, what made me write Black is Beautiful? Um, it's kind of funny because two of my sisters who, I mean, they currently wear their hair relaxed. Um, they're the ones that encouraged me to write my book. Um, I think I was wearing, I think I was wearing locks at the time because that's how I started off. Um, being natural. I started with locks. I started with synthetic locks. I could not walk out of my house without, you know, a woman approaching me and asking me about, you know, natural hair. You know, I could be at, you know, in line at a bank. Someone may say, oh, I like your hair or whatever. Where did you get it done? And it's like, you really can't answer that in a few seconds, even a few minutes. So, the women would always walk away, you know, the conversation would end, but it was just always this look in their eyes like I didn't give them what they wanted, you know. And um, so my idea was to start a website. I was going to start a website and get some business cards made up so, you know, every time a woman approached me, because it was daily, no exaggeration. So I, I basically I was writing up information that was going to go on my website and my two sisters read it and they were like you should turn this into a book so that's when I started writing the book that's when I kind of realized that you know it was like a process that I went through you know I went through the um, the spiritual transformation I first had to change on the inside you know um, and then I went through you know the things that I did um, to prepare myself mentally you know, and you know, one strategy that I used 
Well, it really wasn't a strategy. It's just something that's always been in me, even when I wore my hair relaxed, even when I was a, a very little girl. Um, when people would speak negatively about our hair, I never liked it. You know, whether it was coming from my mother, my sisters, teachers, or, or whomever, if, if you heard someone talking about our hair and, and laughing about it, like, oh no, I'm not going out the house like that, or I just, it rubbed me the wrong way. I knew that I really, you know, that's a part of the transformation. That's a part of the natural journey, you know, so um, the mental transformation, um, you know, and then the physical transformation is the actual, you know, big chop or getting synthetic locks, transitioning, and then the, um, the emotional transformation, which deals with, you know, your neighbors, you know, your coworkers, your supervisors, your family, you know, it's basically how they react to you. Disguised as relaxed women, these three natural beauties took to the streets of Detroit to see what some citizens really thought about natural hair. Hairstyle right here. Would you yeah. wear this hairstyle? No. Why? Because I got a big head, so I don't, I like, I need a lot of hair for my face. So. Any other reason? Um, that's pretty much it. It doesn't look bad on her though. Oh, uh, yeah. If you had a girlfriend, would you like this style on her? Why and why not? Because it wouldn't, it would, it, it just wouldn't be her taste. It wouldn't be her style in particular. Oh, your girlfriend that it wouldn't be hers? Would you like it? To be honest, no, but if it makes her feel comfortable wearing it, then I'm fine with it. Oh, okay. So if you guys have a girlfriend or had a girlfriend who had their hair like this, how would you feel about that? I wouldn't like it. I'd you want to wear a hair wet. Okay. <laughs> so you wouldn't like it. Why? What's, what's wrong with her hair? She doesn't have any hair. Right. Okay. So what if she preferred her hair like this? Would you have a problem with it? No, oh, that's her head. Right. Okay. You, know, you wouldn't have a problem with it? Okay. Hey, this is Yaya. She was on America's Next Top Model. Which hairstyle do you prefer and why? Uh, the long hair because it's pretty and it brings out her, you know, her beauty, you know. Okay. I like short hair too, but the long hair really stands out. Okay. This is Yaya DaCosta from America's Next Top Model. Okay. Which one, which look do you prefer? Yeah. Straight hair? Yeah. What about you? I like the one on the left. It's more fun. Okay. I like the one on the right. Okay. So can you tell me? You said more fun. So yeah. can you tell me why you want the one on the right? It just, just looks better. It looks more prettier. It looks more prettier. Yeah. Straight hair. Straight, like straight hair. Okay. And you like the afro? Yeah, I like the, the curly fruit, fruit fizz. That's okay. awesome. All right. Do you think natural hair is um, a professional style for the workplace? I think so, but a lot of people don't, and I think. It shouldn't be a problem. Like people shouldn't say, "Oh, you shouldn't wear your hair in the fro." What is that doing? As long as I'm helping somebody, as long as I'm getting the job done, then I should be able to do this. It's not distracting anyone. I can see like a loud color in my head or something like that. But as in just my natural state of hair, why shouldn't it be allowed? Why should I have to add something to it? So, yeah, it's my opinion. Do you think this hairstyle is professional? Why or why not? It doesn't look bad. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't be professional. Right. It's cute. Okay. It fits her face too. Okay. Uh, she had like one dreadlock coming out of the top of her head with like a piece of candy stuck in it or something. That, that wouldn't be it. So. <laughs> okay. All right. How do you feel about relaxed hair? Relaxed in Detroit? Relaxed like hair. Oh, like how perms, I feel? Relaxers. I mean, it, it kind of breaks out the girls, you know, like, instead of them being nappy-headed, you know what I'm saying, like, when they hair all nice and flat, it kind of makes them, like, stand out, you know what I'm saying, because no, no, no man don't want no woman that's all hair all nappy and nasty. How do you feel about uh, relaxed hair or perm hair? I have no problem with it. I think it's, you know, slick looking. Slick looking. Okay. What about you? It's all right. It's all right. Sometimes that helps. Okay. So mm -hmm. Helps what? The hair would be all... I don't want to say nappy, but yeah. Okay, all right. Is hair important to you? And if so, what? Are you um, no, not necessarily. It's not that important to an extent where 
I need to get it done all the time or I'm always trying to find something new to do with it. It's just kind of there just because I got a big head. <laughs> it just looks nice. <laughs> is hair important to you? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely? Absolutely. Okay, why, why is it important? It, you know, it's one of those things that helps kind of define who you are, you, you know, what's, what's one thing is very visible and very off the you can see it easily bam it's one of those things that just ident helps identify you like on spot okay how about you i like hair i think hair makes people look better brings out your face certain hairstyles okay uh, hair is better you okay hair is better. certain other parts of your body yeah, and stuff, right, you know? right, right. Okay. i have something to reveal to you this is me my hat bro how do you feel about that it look, it look nice. Look nice. Thank you. <laughs> okay, something that I had to reveal to you. I myself am natural. Have been. I'm a newly natural. Natural almost a year. I wear my hair kinky, coily, and I love it. So we just wanted your opinion on how you feel about natural hair. Natural hair, rock on. Okay. Negative. So I have a. Oh. Oh. So a confession. This is actually me. This okay. is what my hairstyle looks like under this wig. I am no, completely don't. natural. Yes, yes it does. That's me. And that's it. Thank you so much. Sure. Absolutely. No, negative. Right. Negative. No, <laughs> negative. All right. Today's TWA Spotlight comes from one of our viewers, Nikita from Washington, D.C. Nikita said the reason why she chose to go natural was due to extreme frustration from years of shedding and hair thinning. Nikita said going natural and doing the big shop was the best decision she's ever made. She also said having natural hair is like getting a new toy every week because with growth comes new styles and products to try. Nikita, thank you so much for your submission to Natural Beauties in the City. I think your big shop looks gorgeous. So glad you decided to go ahead. Um, I suffer from the same thing, the thinning hair, and it's not a good look. It's not a cute look. I think you look awesome and amazing. Yes, I second that. You look absolutely gorgeous. Um, we looked at your before and your after picture and you just stand out. Your face is just like, bam, here I am. And your um, curls are beautiful. I couldn't agree with Markeisha Moore. You really stand out with your short hair. You just look amazing. I couldn't say anything more. You look fabulous. Thank you so much for Thanks, your submission. Thank you. Last but not least, here's our hot link of the day. Today's hot link is hatsellme.com. This online store sells fashionable hats lined with silk, which creates a barrier between hair and sometimes harmful materials made out of some hats, like wool and cotton. Hat Sell Me sells a number of different stylish hats for women with short hair and also big hair. Check out hatsellme.com to see the full line of hats that will keep you stylish while protecting your natural hair from the harsh winter elements. So before we end today's show, we definitely want to say thank you to all the viewers, but thank you to the international viewers. Yes, oh my yes. God. Thank you. We got people in the Netherlands, Africa, the UK. UK. I'm just like, hey y'all, what's up? Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> okay. So thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Natural Beauties in the City. As you guys can see, this is our first episode with a new camera and some microphones. So thank you guys so much for complaining. We appreciate it and we definitely listen to all our suggestions. If you guys can send your suggestions to naturalbitc at gmail.com, that's better for us so we don't have to look all through all the comments. If you have some serious suggestions you want us to view or have some constructive criticism that you want us to check out, please send them there because it's hard to go through all the comments. Um, it's just better if you just send them to our email address. So thank you guys so much. Remember that you're more than welcome to send your picture. And also, we want to let you know, at the end of every month, we're going to have a viewer appreciation slideshow. So if you've been natural now for some years, some months, you don't have a TWA, send your picture in with your name, and we'll put you in our slideshow at the end of every month. So thank you guys so much for watching. Yes, thanks for watching, and thanks for all the love you've been giving us. It just makes my day just to open up the youtube account and look at all the nice comments and everybody saying such wonderful things thank you um it really makes my dad really appreciate it so keep on 
commenting and subscribing and holler at us. Thank you. Yep, thanks so much for watching. Couldn't tell you how much uh, joy this gives me doing this. I look forward every week to hanging out with these ladies. I know. I know, right? <laughs> Different spots. Trying to um, just vibe off what you send us. Again, make sure you send that stuff in to us. Natural, natural BITC at gmail.com. The TWA Spotlights. As you can see, we will feature you. So send this stuff in. We look forward to hearing from you, reading your comments, and sending you more videos. Goodbye. Bye. Five day hair, y'all. This is a roller set that I did. Actually, it didn't turn out how I expected it to turn out, but after a couple days, it just got big and I'm loving it. So, what I have in my hair right now is a lot of body, a little shea moisture, and I've just been putting oil in it, castor oil, throughout the day. That's it. I love it. This is a twist out. I did it last night, so it's still you know, little and small, I like my twist outs to be big. But um, medium sized twist, I use, what did I use? I used Carol's Daughter's something, I don't even know what it was, some butter or something like that. And I also used the Curl Stretching Cream by Design Essentials. I just mixed in the Carol's Daughter's to give it just a little bit more moisture because uh, I find that the Curl Stretching Cream is a little bit dry. Um, I don't know, I guess it's a glycerin. I don't know what it is, but that's what I used in my hair. And I like it, it's okay, it's whatever. It's first day hair. What I did to my hair, I did another roller set. I'm in love with these things now. They're so easy and they're so cute. Okay, but it's cold outside. We were getting ready to go shoot outside, but you'll see it. So anyway, I had to put a hat on, but first I put my scarf on. Listen, I'm about keeping it real, okay? I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Put my scarf on first, then my hat. So this is all pent up back here. Y'all forgive me. It's all pent up back here. And this time I used Mizzanning to um, set my, my curls. Um, I did it on wet hair and it came out. I was so worried that it was gonna shrink, but it actually stretched, but this is old. Don't forget that, it's old. And I threw my silk scarf on with my hat. And that's it, y'all.